QuickBooks Desktop 2023 preferences. Let's do it with Intuit's QuickBooks Desktop 2023. Support accounting instruction by clicking the link below, giving you a free month membership to all of the content on our website, broken out by category, further broken out by course, each course then organized in a logical, reasonable fashion, making it much more easy to find what you need than can be done on a YouTube page. We also include added resources such as Excel practice problems, PDF files, and more like QuickBooks backup files when applicable. So once again, click the link below for a free month membership to our website and all the content on it. In prior presentations, we downloaded and installed the QuickBooks desktop software represented by this icon. We then opened up the sample file represented by this icon, this icon being the data file, this icon being the program, opening up the program, and then we're gonna open up the data file within it. I'm not gonna go through this intro process going forward after this presentation. We'll just jump right into the home page in the software. I just wanna emphasize the difference between the software and the data file one more time here. The last file we had open is up top. You can see the mapping to that on the C drive here. If you don't know where it is, I'm gonna go ahead and open this one up. The prior windows we had open are gonna be open when we open this thing up. I'm gonna close these windows in the middle gray area. I'm just gonna X out here. I'm gonna X out here. I'm gonna X out here. So now we just have this gray area in the middle. I'm gonna open up the home page. I'm gonna to go to the company dropdown, reopen that home page. Opens up in the middle. I'm gonna maximize it to the gray area. This is our normal routine whenever opening up the QuickBooks file. Typically, I like to have the open windows over here, which you could do this way, or you can go to the view dropdown and go to the open windows. So we now have the sample file, which already has data in it. The next thing we wanna do is just touch on the company preferences and you can find the preferences by going to the edit dropdown and then go to the preferences down at the bottom. Now there's a whole lot of preferences. You got the categories on the left-hand side. So all these categories, and then you have the two tabs usually up top my preferences and then the company preferences now we're going to go into the preferences in a lot more detail on the second half of the course when we start up a new company file one of the reasons for that is because the sample company that we have here being a construction company has already altered some of the preferences from the default to accommodate it being you know basically a construction company and they've adjusted some of the preferences like the classes and so on so, uh, and that's normally the case oftentimes when you go to work for another business. In other words, many of the preferences will be set up when you start a new company file. That process of starting up the new company file will align some of the preferences during that time. And then after the company file is set up, you can alter some of the preferences that had been put in place when you set up the company file. And of course, there are other preferences that are in, you know, that are kind of independent, might not be set up during the setup process of the company. So the first half of the course, we're working with a company file that has, in essence, the major preferences already set up, altered from the default to accommodate the particular company that we're looking at. And we're gonna work within that. The second half of the course, we'll start a new company and when we set up the company file, many of these preferences will be set up as we set up the company file. Then we'll go through the whole preferences again and we'll look through each of these categories in detail and uh, get a lot more detail on each of those categories and what these, what these different preferences will do. But just to get a general idea, th this is where the preferences are. You got the accounting, you got the bills, the calendar, the checking, the desktop, the finance, the general, the general and the accounting are probably two of the biggest kind of areas where you'll be dealing with the preferences. You got the sales tax that you got to turn on the sales tax and so on. But again, we'll dive into those in a lot more detail in the second half of the course. If you have detailed questions about the preferences, uh, then you could jump there if you so choose. Remember, many of these preferences will be set up when we set up the company file, and then you can change them basically by going into the preferences here or add other kind of preferences that aren't in the, there when we set up the new company file. Accounting. I don't know anyone in accounting.